Hi, I'm here today to bring you the latest fashion tech news that you need to know. My name is Anina and I'm the CEO of 360 Fashion Network. Before we start, if you want to receive this news roundup regularly, then hit that like button and smash that follow as we will be bringing you this news every week to keep you in the know of the top stories we think are important. Alright, first up, psychologists who study societies focus on women's appearance and the consequences of this constant scrutiny. We were immediately fascinated by the new dynamic created by the Zoom world. While critical for public safety during the pandemic, we believe that virtual classes, meetings and the like lead to a continuous focus on one's own appearance something research suggests is harmful to mental health, especially for women. Facial dissatisfaction also seems to play a role in Zoom fatigue, with women across all races reporting higher levels of Zoom fatigue than their male counterparts. Turning off self-view is easy to do and may help some people, but many others including us feel that this puts them at a disadvantage. We wonder how this will affect the NFT jewelry and Snapchat face filter markets which are developing. News source, Fast Company, the Atari 50, the anniversary celebration will have 90 plus games from the Atari 2600, 5200, 7800, Street, Jaguar, and Lynx consoles. Six titles will be new but inspired by classic Atari games, including an updated sequel to 1981's Haunted House for the Atari 2600. The collection will include archival images and videos and an interactive history of the publisher to learn about and unlock games. News source, Game Informer, Performing Arts Union Equity is launching a campaign around performers' rights over artificial intelligence AI. They hope to persuade the UK government to introduce laws that will prevent companies using AI performance synthetization based on real performers' voices and likeness without their permission. As the UK law currently stands, performers' rights extend to being able to give consent to the making of a recording of a performance and the right to control use of the recordings and any copies. However, AI technology falls outside the scope of these protections because it reproduces performances without generating a recording or a copy, according to the union. In addition, in a survey of 430 equity members, 79% of those who have undertaken AI work said they didn't feel they had a full understanding of their rights before signing their contracts. News Source, Variety, Snap takes another stab at hardware with a selfie drone called Pixie. The small yellow puck takes off from your hand, follows you around, and captures video that can be sent back to Snapchat. It's Snap's attempt at making a drone that's friendlier and more approachable than other products on the market and it may hint at the more advanced, R-powered future Snap is building toward. Pixie is available online for $230 in the US and France starting Thursday. Unlike most existing drones, it's small and light enough to fit in a pant pocket. There isn't a controller it takes off from and lands on an outstretched bomb, and it uses six pre-programmed flight patterns that are accessible through a dial on the top of the device. News source, The Verge, Chinese designers can also be instrumental in assisting luxury brands to gain ground in China's metaverse. China's impressive virtual idol sector presents considerable opportunities for collaboration, especially when real-life idols carry unprecedented risks of moral missteps in China. According to market research firm 2 Media, the rise of virtual influencers is no coincidence, considering the fruit of the digital environment we live in 5G, AI, and blockchain. As major gaming IPs enter the metaverse, luxury brands can transfer their in-game presence, akin to how users can dress their avatars in virtual luxury outfits in e-commerce platform Tobao's Tobao Life Socialization Game. Despite the NFT boom of the West, when it comes to implementing digital offerings in China, the tight regulation of the metaverse has, to date, deterred luxury brands. Not only is there an absence of a resale market when it comes to crypto assets, digital collectibles also have low prices, limiting how much profit a brand can actually gain from minting NFTs there. News source, Jing Daily, and that's it for today. If you want to get the full top 10 fashion tech news items of the week, check out our new podcast 360 Fashion or go to 360 Fashion. Knit podcast or search for it on your favorite podcast platform. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss our latest episode.